Hi there, and welcome to Pronto Pizza. What we've got here is a very, very uh, simple looking kind of flyer, the kind of thing that you get through your door. Okay, that's a little bit more complex, but you know, it's kind of that same sort of idea. I'm gonna show you how I created this bit by bit by bit, and you're gonna have a go at creating your own fast food poster at home. So let's start uh, coming up from the background. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I've got an extra layer in there. I am going to uh, switch off all of my layers, one at a time, like that. And I'm gonna show you how I created this. So I started with a normal uh, blank document. I created an A4 document. Uh, so you can find out the size of that in millimeters online for when you need to create your new doc. I then added a background. Now this background I just copied and pasted off the internet. So I had a search in here, wood texture. Uh, obviously you can use something else. And I went on Google image search. Now to help me, I clicked on the tools button and I used this filter to say large. That means I only now get high resolution images so it will look good on my A4 page. Uh, if I'd used a low resolution image then when I zoom in this would start to get very pixelated very quickly. Okay so on top of that the first thing I needed was my pizza. So I again went onto Google. I found myself a pizza here. I used my uh, tools in image search and I made sure large and transparent. This means you don't need to rub out the background, it'll already be done for you. Now, if I change this for chicken wings, like so, click on tools and uh, size large and then color transparent, again you can find some cooked chicken wings and well when one of these comes through there we are there's the chicken and you can see behind it that is transparent so uh, you'd be able to copy and paste that copy image and then you could come into here and you could do edit and uh, paste and uh, what we'd find, oh, I pasted it behind the background, so put it on top. Uh, what we find is, yes, I can then resize that chicken uh, like so, and it fits almost perfectly there. I've also used a layer style on my pizza. So if you double click on this, uh, then just the same way as we were doing for the text, you can add things like a drop shadow to the pizza and you can um, uh, do other little bits with it as well in terms of making it glow if glowing chicken is really what you want. I'm going to get rid of the chicken now because this is all about pizza and the next thing I added was some text. Now I've got a layer style on my text so I've created some text in a particular font. I've added a drop shadow and I've also added this red stroke around the end. Uh, I could of course if I wanted to uh, come in the text tool and I could even be more fancy by doing things like uh, coloring the individual letters as per the Italian flag. So I could do this kind of thing like that. And now when I click off it, you can see I can uh, do my letters like that. And you know, you can go for those kinds of effects. So one thing that appears very often on this kind of leaflet is a shape of some kind. So you might have this for a special offer. Now you can create this in a couple of ways, but I have used the shape tool. So the uh, shape tool is this one over here. It might be any of these symbols. Now, if you want to do a star, you can select a parametric shape and then select a star and then um, let's have a 15 pointed star. And now when I draw it, you can see there's a 15 pointed star. I can uh, change the radius like this, in which case it will draw one with shallower points. Let's get rid of both of those. Uh, 
The other thing you can do is you can add in a, a sort of custom shape. So I've got my uh, shape tool here. And if I select custom shape, then uh, photo P allows me to select from loads and loads and loads of different shapes. And that's what I did here. So it's just a kind of little icon uh, and you can use that in there. So now uh, I've added some text on top of that. Where has it gone? The two for one. And uh, that's just normal text put on top. I haven't added a drop shadow because I want it to appear like it's part of this shape. So the uh, next thing I needed to do was uh, I needed to add on this shape here. This is where I'm actually going to write the items in my menu. So I've added it on in white first to give me an idea of whereabouts it is. And I've added these bits for the Italian flag. So again, I'm just creating rectangles here using the shape tool. And then I added another rectangle. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to show you uh, if I select onto this rectangle here you can see when you create the rectangle you can select the color here and you can also select gradients which is what I've done for the next one which gives it this sort of very sort of takeaway appearance so I've got a kind of light yellow to white fade going on right and then last thing I did was I added some text on it like that and that is how you can create your own sort of flyer um, have a go and the main thing is that you experiment with combining these shapes along with images and text in order to make an attractive flyer. Uh, play around, play around with the fonts, play around with all the colors, and uh, that will then bring you on for the task which we're going to complete near the end of this unit, which is you are going to be uh, creating a uh, trading card game card like Pokemon cards or Magic the Gathering, that kind of thing. So that is your task for today. Please do submit this on uh, Teams. I'd love to see them. And uh, I hope you enjoy creating leaflets.